I was serving as a defense lawyer in the Navy. A young man was charged with arson of setting a U.S. naval warship on fire. He was charged with arson and was facing 20 years in a federal prison if convicted. When I first went to the brig, which is the equivalent of a jail in the Navy, I was handed a five-page handwritten confession that he'd given about how he'd started the fire. So when he, when, he, when he came in to see me, he immediately broke down into tears, and I asked him why he was crying, and he said, because I'm innocent, I didn't do this. And of course, the natural question was, well, if you didn't do it, why'd you give him this five-page confession? He then told a, la a lengthy tale that as a young man, he was lived in a very poor uh, part of Arkansas in the hills and hollers that he was victimized regularly by his father as a victim of child abuse. And uh, because he was often accused of things in his family like stealing a can of beans simply to get enough to eat and then being beaten if he didn't confess to it, he learned, learned very early that if he didn't confess that he would be beaten then the next one down and the next one down in a family of seven or eight kids. I took that confession after he told me he didn't do it and what had happened and began to tear it apart. He claimed that he set the paint on fire with a big butane lighter. And it turns out I got a fire expert that said you could hold a big butane lighter under this paint forever and it would not set it on fire. I took him to a Francis psychiatrist who explained this compulsion he had to confess and why and so forth. Eventually took it to the convenient authority which is like the prosecutor's office in the military and was able to demonstrate to them sufficiently that they dismissed the charge against him. When I went home that night, I remember looking in the mirror as I was brushing my teeth before I went to bed. And I looked up at myself, and I say this with some of the humility because it sounds like I'm bragging, but I don't mean it that way. But I looked at myself and I said, you, Mr. Warner, are a lawyer. I felt like for the first time, you know, I had really made the difference in somebody's life that I'd been able to do something I'd saved this young man probably 20 years in a federal prison. I learned that day that one lawyer who is willing to do it can make a difference.